Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to New Frontier. It is the morning of day five and I've got uh, five skill points to spend this morning actually. Let's put two of them into agility, taking us to level seven. Then let's put another one into deep cuts, another one into whirlwind, and let's put the last one into daring adventure because we're going to do some jobs for Trader Wreck today. I've got my trusty hunting rifle, which has a three-round internal magazine, so that's nice. We can get three shots off with this thing before having to reload. I also brought uh, my new obsidian knife for stabbing and such. Whoops. Sorry, Racked, I didn't mean to stab your door. Hey, listen, if you could not say any crazy stuff this morning, that'd be great, because, you know, it's the beginning of the video and all. There's something you need. Yes, there is. And thank you for... Asking a reasonable question. I need to, you to sell you this stuff, and then I'm going to buy some stuff. There we go. 5,700 coin. What do we got here? Forge the head. Take all of those. Rifle ammo. Bunch of high-powered ammo. Gunpowder. Bottle bombs. Crucible. There's the Crucible again and the chem station. Both very expensive. That's interesting, though, that he's got the Crucible still after he restocked, which leads me to believe he will continue to have that. So we'll pick it up once we have enough coin. Not really in a rush to get it, though, because we got to get the mixer first. I'm just going to buy as much of this ammo as I can. Nope. No, 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 no. Yep. There we go, 136 rounds. Shit, man. I hey. think you're that good, and you don't even fucking tip me. God damn it, Wrecked. Couldn't hold back, hey, could you? You better not fuck this up. Bro. Cut your goddamn throat. Jeez, dude, why don't you have a fucking Snickers or something? Poor guy. You can't really hold it against him, you know? Life kicked him in the dick over and over again. I mean, he should be retired, chilling somewhere. Instead, he's running this store still, selling bullshit to me, you know? All right, motherfucker, let's go. Off to our first job for Wrecked. Not too far away. We get to ride through our first Old West town here. This is beautiful. Oh, we got a bookstore right here. I think we should stop and check it out. God, I love the atmosphere of this mod. All right. Uh, we got some gas right here. Might as well grab it. Bag. Oh, and some books. Forged ahead. Nice. Woo! Missed, bitch. Uh, we better take care of this guy. That wasn't enough. At least I didn't wake anybody up. Oh, come on. He's mad. Better stop him from blowing up. Oh, shit. Well, that worked out just about as good as I expected. Oh, I like this new knife. Morning, fellas. Oh, yeah. And it's only a level one. It's only going to get better from here. Couple of knife guy bugs. There we go. We can craft a level two now. Urban combat. Uh, learn how to jump and land quietly. Tools digest. Knife guy book. Oh, we can make a level five bow now. Handgun book. Vehicle book. Nice. Oh, we just unlocked the bicycle and wheels. I think it's, yeah, it's the same old bicycle. I don't see a reason to craft it. How could it be better than my horse? I think the horse is faster, and I don't use stamina when riding it. Let's see what we got here. Needle and thread. Puffer coats. Another vehicle book. Another vehicle book. Nice. Yeah, once we unlock something motorized, then I'll craft it. Warrior bow. What is a warrior bow? Ah, it's the wooden bow. They just renamed it. Potatoes? Sure. Another forge ahead and a big hitters. They unlock the anvil. And a quality three club, which I don't care about. 
Oh, level three ladle. Whatever. The ladle's funny, but at some point, probably end up ditching it, you know? If I'm not putting any points into Pummel Pete, then the knife is just gonna always be better. Uh, let's pop this open and deal with uh, whoever's making all the fucking noise over here. Man, this place is loaded with books. Whoop. Got a bird and a couple crawlers. And Mo. Mo just standing there. Just asking for an arrow in the back of the head. There you go, Mo. Whoop. Yeah, come on down, fuckers. Makes it easier for me. All right, now for the bird. Yep, 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 yep. Knife guy book, handgun book, explosives book. Ooh, pipe revolver. Quality five we can craft now, which makes me glad I forgot to craft a level four last night. Night Stalker, never encumbered at night. That's a good one. We'll have to go on some night adventures soon. Motherfu- I already read you and another Forged Ahead book. Uh, let's go in here. Might as well finish looting the place. I, I was gonna just do like a quick in and out. I was just gonna slip it in and then get the fuck out, you know, but we've come this far. Might as well finish it. Now, the Knife Guy book. All right, let's uh, get up on the rooftop. That's where the stash should be. Even though I think it's just, like, one crate, but whatever. Eh, might as well check the trash. There we go. That surgical tape is the equivalent of duct tape here. Robotics book. Level one scrap spitter. Well, we already have one of those. Oh, got a decent pile of loot up here. That's a nice little upgrade. Oh, there's a bird. Think I could slip an arrow through that crack? Oh, yeah. I'm an expert at slipping things through cracks. Another handgun book. Oh, the 666 revolver. We actually need one of those to do the gunslinger quest. Pretty cheap to make. I'll wait till we can make a better one, though. The Gunslinger quest takes place in the Wasteland. I don't even know where the Wasteland is yet. And even if I did, I wouldn't go there yet. 10% more damage to Vultures, that's nice. And there's a Warrior Bow. Breaching Ammo. Uh, that Warrior Bow is not much better than my Primitive Bow. So, uh, I'll probably just scrap it for the bow part. Plus, I can make a higher level primitive bow if I want. So, uh, that'll probably be just as good as the level one wooden bow or warrior bow. Yeah, 43.1, and the level three primitive uh, with the mod in it is 40.9. So, I'm just gonna scrap it for the bow part. Here we are, the waiting station. We got a dog down the way. I don't like that. Let's take him out. Oh, need some bullets in here. I put one in and I get three. That's some fine math. This place is a mess. There's shit everywhere. Makes it easy to miss something, so I'll try and keep my eyes open. Well, let's sell that. Let's repair it first. Pop this crate open. A working stiff sealed shipping crate. Forged ahead and some oil. Here comes big boy. Got another one over here. Hey, get away from motherfucker, motherfucker. I knew I was gonna love being knife guy. Oh, that's ridiculous. Her head is on top of the loot bag. Oh boy, that's funny. Right, we got a treasure map. Let's read that thing. All right, we'll worry about that later. Let's focus on the task at hand. Machete parts, I'm good on that half-eaten sandwich. 
Take all that. Nothing there. Probably should harvest all this stone. Wouldn't be a bad thing. Medical book, and I'll take the piece of paper. Well, I'm going to have to harvest this stone so I can get to this crack -a book crate. Real quick, I know it's not really the end of the year yet, but I'm just feeling fucking thankful. Look at that. Level 3 knives we can craft now. Uh, I'll look into that later. Um, oh, some scrap gloves. That's good. We don't have any armor on our hands. Um, but yeah, I'm just feeling super thankful for you guys, and uh, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to everyone who watches my videos, who's shared my videos, who supports me on Patreon, who's purchased something from the G9 store, or purchased the plushie, or purchased socks in the past. Black Crystal. We'll snort some of that later and see what happens. Uh, but seriously, you guys are the absolute best, and I appreciate you all so much. This community that we're building is fucking amazing. You guys get me, you know? I can say some dumb shit or some fucked up shit, and you guys get it. That it's just a joke, that I'm just fucking around, that we're just having fun. So many people can't take a joke. They don't even know what a joke is. You say a joke, they're like, ah, duh, duh, duh. they don't know how to respond. It's like, just laugh, motherfucker. That's all you gotta do. You don't gotta respond at all. You don't gotta tell me how you feel about whatever. <laughs> it's like, just take it for what it is. It's a joke. And that's what you guys do. And that's why we have so much fun here. Uh, so, again, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for understanding me. And thank you for uh, taking the jokes. So we can forget about the monotony of life just for a little bit and enjoy ourselves. Knife guy, bitch. What else we got here? Barbed wire mod and uh, mine more stuff when you're drinking coffee. Cloth. Can't search that one. Got a gun safe. Oh, well, we got lock picks. I guess we'll try our luck with that thing. Got some monies. Another knife guy book, Tactical Warfare, howdy ma'am. Well, shit. Guess we'll just mark this one on the map, too. We got like three or four safes on the map right now. We'll get them at some point. Looks like we got the loot, and the, whoop, and a bird, and some zombies. There's another bird. Oh, shit. Oh, that other bird distracted me. I turned around, I thought it was going to swoop down on me. Uh, the supplies got to be up here. It says they are. And I'll take the blood bag too, whatever. Scrap spitter book. Uh, increase the fire rate of scrap spitters and a decent shotgun. How you like that? I just sold the pipe shotgun. I figured I wasn't going to use that piece of shit anymore. Now we got a double barrel, so that's nice. All right. Job completed. Oh, he's feral. Oh, damn. Fall down, big boy. Holy shit. Damn. Knife guy is all good and well until you got to stab feral big boy. Eight times. You think you're pretty Blue. Now, ammo. You oh, ten mechanical parts. Side. Should we take those? Uh, well, it's still not enough to make the workbench. So, let's just take the ammo. And we'll keep a lookout for a wrench. Let's do this fetch. You want work for Can't say I'm not surprised. Well, let's make another pit stop. Paper, and we got guns and ammo. Is the front door open? It is open. Well, the gun safe is uh, in a cage, though. Oh, hey, buddy. I'd say wake up time, but not for you, it ain't. Got him. No oh, shit. Another feral one. Hey, what'd that cannon ever do to you, lady? Okay, that wasn't so bad. Nitrate powder and murky water. Tank top. 
more machete parts and gun safe and more loot is locked in the cage I wonder if we could break through the ceiling there is an upstairs oh boy oh he glitched through the stairs and here comes the other one let's go through this door Get out of the way lady shit all right close that door okay just a little abrasion Well, the floor looks like wood, but it's not. There's another weapons bag in here, and then I did see some keys on the wall. I imagine one of them will open the cell door downstairs. Level 2 hunting knife, handgun book. Oh, there's a level 2 666 revolver. We found that shotgun, though, so I'm feeling pretty good. Let's see, 12.8, 37.3... It's not better than my level 1 obsidian, but that's probably because I got a couple of mods on it. We'll double check that later. Some ammo. Another handgun book. Yeah, I think I'll wait on that 666 revolver. Oh, shit. <laughs> that opened that door. And the other key had to have opened this cell. It did. Get these out of the way. Nice. Burning shaft mod. I don't even have any lockpicks. So we can't get in this safe. Uh, just mark it on the map. One day we'll get into all these safes. Look at this guy just walking in the middle of the road. Buckfucker, baby. What's up, girl? You want a piece of the buckfucker? Oh, you don't? Well, too late. You can't walk away now. Got another feral one just running down the road. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Damn it. Here we are. Eric's stuff. I could see the snow biome in the distance there to the west. Well, northwest. All right, let's fire this up. Oh, we got a bear. We should probably... Oh, shit. Sneaky Pete. Damn it. Let's take care of her and then let's reload that shotgun. Uh, I'd like to get this bear killed because it is on our list of animals that we got to kill now. Bear, wolf, mountain lion, and uh, something else. Let's get in here first. You know what else I like about this mod? Not only are there a shit ton of new POIs, it seems like the uh, a lot of, if not all, the uh, vanilla POIs have been changed around a bit, or added to. Which um, pretty much makes everything new, in my opinion, and uh, I really like it. I, like I said, I can't say it enough. This is this is my favorite overhaul mod that I've ever played so far. Just because it it really has a sense of vanilla where it's still very like arcadey and action packed, and it doesn't take itself too serious. But it's the atmosphere really that I love the most. I guess I'm just a true westerner at heart. Close that fucking door. All right, let's get in here now. I don't know where that bear went. Oh, there it is. It's in the back. Nothing there. Let's pop this parts box open. Scrap spitter book. Spear weighted head mods. Jeez, that sounds like it would be more for the sledge turret. But the robotics book started opening up the spitter recipes before the sledgehammer book. Chicken! Excuse me, bear. Bear don't care. Uh, we gotta get to high ground before I shoot this thing. Uh, but yeah, I mean, usually the, uh, sledge turret is unlocked first. And then the, uh, shooting junkie. But for some reason, the spitter is being unlocked first. Um, can I make this jump? No, no, you'd think I'd be able to. No, not quite. Uh, we gotta knock... Nope, knock this out. Oh, that 
bitch is eating my chicken. Get your own chicken. Where are you going now? Where's the bear? Did it find its way inside? I think it did. Oh, damn it. Here it is. Bear down. That zombie must be in there. Yep. All right. Good. Grab all these frames back. That worked out. Handgun book. Sprinting with the 44 gun drawn uses 20% less stamina. Tactical warfare. Murky water. Got storm rolling through. All right. I think that's just about it. Now that you did the job, um, I guess you ain't all that damn bad. Yeah, let's take the shotgun shells. And another job. Oh, wait, hold on. You can have all this stuff here, wrecked. What is this? Testosterone extract? Oh, it's testicles. Nice. Cha-ching! All right, one more job, then. Clear zombies. It's a deal. Almost hour 17. We're gonna have to uh, rush a bit through this one. All right, bird, get off my back. Uh, what do we got here? Needle and thread, desert wear. Well, I already have a duster. You want some too? Well, come on then. I could wait, even though I'm in a rush. Oh, come on. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Stop fucking with me. Oh, got him. Oh, I better be careful. I don't want to stab motherfucker. All right. We're back at Gigi's barn. How many times are we going to loot this place? At least we know what to expect here, so... We get through it fast. Hey, another pair of testicles. How do you like that? Recog, that'll help come Horde Night. Speaking of Horde Night, I still have no idea what I'm going to do for uh, our Horde base. We'll figure it out tomorrow. Nothing like getting your Horde base together on day six. It could be worse. We could always wait till day seven. There. Back up, lady. Another feral one. She dead. I mean, uh, oh, what the hell is happening? Oh, bird. Damn it. What? Oh, it's a feral chicken. We gotta kill it. Got it. Uh, but yeah, obviously we're not building a horde base for night seven. And uh, I think trying to take over the riverboat is kind of a waste of energy for night seven. Plus, I think I want to get a little more geared up before we try and take that boat on. Because if that boat is going to work out the way I think it's going to work out, we might as well use that for a much later horde. No sense in uh, using that for Night 7. I think maybe we can get away with uh, one of those smaller boats. I don't know if those are being held up by that chain, though. I don't know. I mean, dude, we can turn GG's barn into a Night 7 horde base pretty quickly. So, I'm not worried about it. We just need to... Figure it out and nail it down so we're not scrambling on day seven. So that is definitely something we will figure out tomorrow. You think you're pretty smart, Ammo. Don't you? Yeah, that's the winner. All right, let's uh, take another one of these jobs for tomorrow. I guess the fetch quest. You can't say I'm not surprised. All right, no one else is going to do this work. So it's up to us. Let's get this bridge rebuilt so we can use Motherfucker to go raid the POIs on the other side and eventually the riverboat as well.
All right, I'm done for now. It's late. There are zombies around, which are runners now. We'll finish this up tomorrow. I mean, shit, I got farther than I thought I would anyway, so we're looking good. Oh, shit. What the fuck is that, a bat? Damn. Oh, they only come out at night? Hey, edible meat. I'll take it. All right, motherfucker. Let's get on home. Let's eat a little bit of this meat. Actually, we're pretty hungry. Let's eat a sham chowder. And uh, I've got these apples, too, which I heard they are used as repair kits for the horse. And uh, motherfucker could use some repairs, so let's see. Nope. Well, that doesn't work. Nah, all right. Well, let's try a regular old repair kit then. See if this works. There you go. That worked. So, uh, I don't know what the apples are used for. Because you can't eat them. They give zero food. I guess we can check recipes, right? Oh, apple pie. We can make apple pies with them. Well, maybe one day. Alright, I got some loot to get put away. And organized. I don't think I have much to sell here. I think I'm going to pretty much keep everything. We got that level 4 hunting knife. I'm going to compare it to the obsidian blade I have on me. See which one is better. And we got this job to do for wrecked in the morning. Um, oh, let me show you this real quick. I put in a back door here. And I also started digging a mine. So I'm going to do a little more work on this tonight. That'll get us some stone. And hopefully we can find some ore down there as well. Something we can use. I'll get the forge running. And then, like I said, we got this job for wrecked. We got that uh, treasure chest also, but I don't have any lockpicks. So, uh, I hate to dig up a treasure and then we have to beat into it with our stone axe. So, unless we find uh, better tools or more lockpicks tomorrow, we'll hold off on digging up that treasure. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're looking forward to the next one. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more New Frontier, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.